guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022, and I am coming on here with just a yarn video. <laughs> so um, I will have to say over the past couple weeks, I have made some purchases and they have been sitting around because I have been too busy doing wings videos <laughs> to show you yarn. So today all I'm going to show you is acquisition. So if you don't want to be enabled, you can click off. <laughs> So, so anyway, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot and I make stitch markers. So if you could go and check out my Etsy shop uh, and favorite the shop, favorite a few items, I really do appreciate it. I am working on another batch of stitch markers right now and hopefully those will be up in the next week. I have no time. Oh my goodness. So I do live in the Chicago area. I have one daughter, her nickname is Carrots, like the vegetable, and uh, we recently have um, pared down our zoo, so we still have a few animals, but it's not a, as big a zoo anymore anyway, <laughs> so um, if you are interested, please come and join our Facebook group for this YouTube podcast. Uh, you do have to answer three questions to join, but I promise you it's very easy, and you do not, you do not have to say your favorite color is purple. Um, uh, you can come follow me on Instagram. Uh, you are welcome to tag me in any giveaways that you see over on Instagram. I love seeing what the, what the giveaways are. And I have a Facebook business page that is attached to Instagram. So for example, if you are not on Instagram, but you want to see what I post on there, you can come follow my Facebook business page. If you are uh, not on Facebook, you can just follow me on Instagram. I do also, uh, besides the Etsy shop, I have a TikTok. Uh, I haven't posted in there for a while. I think maybe I'll try and come up with something in the next week or two to post over there. But it's fun to watch some of the crochet channels over there too. Um, Cinnamon Stitches is on there. Pamela's Adoring Crochet is on there. Um, Jennifer from Crafty Bones is on there. So you, sh you guys should go and check all those people out. Rel from The Dabbling Hook is on there. Ross from Smells Like Yarn. Yeah, there's a lot of, of crochet YouTubers on there. So uh, go check it out. The links are all down below in the description box. And I have a spring shop, which is used to be called Teespring. So if you want to get some Rose Like Crochet merch, I have stuff that says shut the front door on it, which is, <laughs> it's not my original saying, but the logo is pretty awesome. Uh, Dina from Dina's Homespun Fun, her son made the logo for me. And I also have another couple of different logos on there. You can get mugs and t-shirts and tote bags and accessory pouches and stuff like that. So go check it out. Let me know if you like anything over there. So, uh, like I said, for today, it's just going to be all acquisitions. I got uh, some retail therapy done. <laughs> so there's Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Joann's. Uh, I don't have a, a local yarn shop close to me, so I have not visited a local yarn shop in a while. Um, I ordered a mystery box from... Uh, J Hook Crochet, that's Reggie. I ordered some clearance yarn from Lion Brand. I got my Stephen King uh, Yarn of the Month Club from uh, The Lopsided Crafter. I have some mystery boxes from Mama G Gear. And I ordered from Aberdeen's Wool. What? I know, so I need to open, I haven't even opened any of these boxes or packages. I feel so bad. So anyway, we're gonna start with some retail therapy. So I was at Walmart and the, I usually go by the yarn section and it's a, both of the Walmarts close to my house are absolutely terrible yarn sections. Um, but I got some neon yarn from Hobby, H-O-B-B-I-I. It's really bright neon and I want to make a blanket and I want to use black with it and I only bought in the past like a month or two ago I bought one ball of this mainstays 100% acrylic it's like red heart super saver um, and I thought I might need another ball of it so I went to Walmart the other day and I picked up another ball of this so I'll tell you about it so this is 100% acrylic yarn, 798 yards, 14 ounces. It is a number four weight. They suggest 5.5 knitting needles and crochet hooks. Uh, care instructions, machine wash, tumble dry. And it is made in India. And the color is just called black. And 
that is it. It is saying that you can make a knit ridged rib hat and scarf with one ball, but I don't know if there's a pattern on there or not. So anyway, just, just black yarn. It's just so I could have it with my neons and be ready to go. And whenever I go there, I always look in the toy section. My kid is too old for toys, but I always look for little stuffed animals to make lovies. Now the lovey pattern that I use is the original lovey pattern from Z, Zelda NRJ3. It is always linked down below in my description box. And so I found these guys. <laughs> I have Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse already in my Etsy shop. And I found Goofy and Donald Duck. So I am going to, if their necks aren't too skinny, which they might be, I might have to use smaller um, ponytails. I'm gonna try and make these guys into lovies. So. I'm not sure when that'll happen, but I did get these two guys for that purpose. Okay, so the next place I went to was Hobby Lobby and I went there twice. So the first time I went there, yarn was not on sale. And I don't get yarn if it's not on sale, but they had yarn accessories on sale. I don't know if they have them on sale anymore, guys. You can check. I was just in there like two days ago and they still had some leftover yarn accessories. Anyway, I got this Knitter's Pride uh i'm not sure what it's made of it was originally 249 it's a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook or a us size 7 and it was reduced to 62 cents uh oh it says beechwood crochet hook so i mean how can you resist a crochet hook for 62 cents i i couldn't so i had to buy it <laughs> and then you guys they had playing cards with llamas on them <laughs> for 92 cents, <laughs> 99 cents. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, original price on these playing cards was $3.99 and I got them for 99 cents. And I love to play cards, uh, um, solitaire, rummy, um, anything like that. So I think I'm gonna keep this in the car. That way, um, if I'm anywhere, we can whip out a deck of cards. <laughs> and then um, they also had this, uh, cotton floss on clearance so this was originally $5.99 it's just black and white and I got it for $1.49 so that was one trip to Hobby Lobby where they had some clearance and that's all I got on that trip um and then Saturday 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 because they're not open on Sundays I had to go in for a picture frame for my daughter and of course yarn was on sale so I had to go look at the yarn now did I need any of this yarn no did I want it Yes. <laughs> so um, all of the yarn that I bought is um, Hobby Lobby brand called I Love This Yarn. So I'll show you guys this. Now I know in the United States they do ship. I don't know if they ship outside the United States, but you guys, this is super soft yarn. All of the yarn was on sale for 30% off. So I'll tell you about one of them and then I'll show you the other colors. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Okay, so it's called, I love this yarn. It's made in Turkey. Uh, it is a number four weight, 100% acrylic. They recommend five millimeter knitting needles, 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. It is seven ounces, 199 grams, 355 yards, 325 meters and you can machine wash. And like I said, the original price was $4.99, 30% off. And the color on this one is called Arctic Ice. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty and it's so soft. Okay, and then I picked up this one. Don't ask me why I didn't pick up anything purple. I could not tell you. These colors were calling me, they were. This one is called Ocean. You guys, it's green. I'm kind of confused why this is called Ocean. I don't know. So it's so pretty though. I've never seen this one before, so I had to get it. <laughs> and then this one is a print. So it says, I love this yarn print. And it is um, less yardage. It is only five ounces, 142 grams, 252 yards, 230 meters, but it's the same price. Uh, and this color is called Sea Muse. Look at that, you guys. Don't they go good together? I don't know what I'm going to use them for. Uh, but these are the only three that I bought, and I don't know why I only bought three. <laughs> I should have filled my cart. It could be because my daughter was waiting in the car being very impatient, so I didn't want to spend too much time there. <laughs> All right, so then I have gone to Joanne Fabrics once. Let me show you what I got. 
All right, you guys. So Joanne Fabrics, I went on Saturday as well. Saturday seemed to be a good day for me <laughs> to go shopping. And the reason I went there is Kim from Affordably Crafty had just put on a video that they had some yarn on clearance. And if you watch her video, I'll link her down below in the description box. She said what everyone already knows about Joanne Fabrics. When they put their stuff on clearance, it's a really crappy clearance. It's not even worth getting it. For example, there was a Lion Brand Pound of Love that was on clearance for like, I don't know, $7.97 or something like that. But the rest of the regular colors were already on sale for $6.99. It was it's just stupid. So, <laughs> so I was pretty, I'm always disappointed with the clearance and the clearance is usually in the clearance section at my Joanne Fabrics forever and they never mark it down. And it's almost as bad as Michael's, at least the Michael's by my house. Anyway, I did go into the actual clearance section and I found this Lion Brand ice cream and the color is called Cotton Candy. And it was actually on clearance for $2.47. And I'm pretty sure the original price on these is like $5.99 or $6.99. I can't remember. So I thought, why not? That's a good deal. So I did pick up three of those. And that was $2.47 each. So not bad. I don't know. I mean, I think I could get a baby blanket out of that. So that's not bad if you, I mean, nine bucks for yarn for a baby blanket. And it's really pretty. Like it's kind of like a gender neutral almost. So I picked up three of those and then on the app there was a coupon for 50% off one item. Now they had um Joanne Big Twist was on sale like four for ten, which I don't know, I think we can get it cheaper when it goes on a good sale. They had Red Heart Super Saver on sale three for two for seven which only brought it down to $3.50 each, but the regular Red Heart Ombre was not on sale. So I was like, ha I'm gonna get one of these for 50% off. So I found this color that I've never seen before. If you guys can let me know below, have you ever seen this color before? Cause I haven't seen it before. So it's Red Heart Super Saver Ombre and the color is called Sand. Oh my goodness. So it is so muted, like, <laughs> I don't even, it's like so faded. I've never seen this ombre before. And I've seen like the yellows, the purples, the different shades of blue. There's two colors of green, but I've never seen this one before. So I had to get it. Okay, so the Super Saver Ombre is 10 ounces, 283 grams, 482 yards, 440 meters. Like I said, the color on this one is called Sand. It's a number four, 100% acrylic, machine wash and dry. And let me see if it says where it's made. Made in the USA of imported fibers. So I only got one of them because there was only one 50% off coupon and I think I could do something with one of them. So that was all I got from Joanne Fabrics. And then Sunday I was with my mom and I make her go to Michael's with me all the time. So let me show you what I got at Michael's. All right, so I did get some beads, but I don't like showing beads or charms on the um, videos because it takes me a long time to make stitch markers and I don't want to feel obligated to get things put together for people right away because um, it's just not my thing. So anyway, I did get some beads. They were on sale for half off, not like buy one, get one. It was half off of all of the charms and the beads. Um, so I did get some of that. The yarn was on sale, buy one, get one, half off, but I wasn't interested in the regular yarn, but I did see some clearance, like a lot of yarn on clearance. At this one store, there was actually an entire end cap of Karen Lava Cakes, the exact, all the same color. I like, I think it must've just come off the truck or something. And they were all on clearance for $4.99. Anyway, so there was a whole end cap of the Karen Funnel Cakes. And these are all like limited time. This is, a, does it say limited time? Limited time only. It's a Karen cotton funnel cake. And this was on clearance for $5.99. Original price was $11.99. So it's really not clearance. It was just half off, but still half off is fine. And I got the color called Breeze. And my plan with this is to make a a mesh um, reusable grocery bag. 
I had to think about that. <laughs> um, so I did get one of these. They had a, an entire end cap full. Uh, it's a number four. It is 100% cotton, 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams, 425 yards, 389 meters, machine wash and dry. And uh, let me see if it says where it's made. I cannot see where it is made. It is made in China. All right, so I only got one of them because I figured I can probably make a market bag with one of these. And then they also had these Karen Big Donuts on sale or on clearance. And this was on clearance for $4.99, which is a better deal because the original price on this was $11.99. So that's really clearance. So I know people think that this is a gimmick, but I think um, I got a pretty good deal for $4.99. 100% um, acrylic, number four, machine wash and dry, uh, 502 yards made in China. The color on this is called Lemon Plum. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I have a bunch of other Ogos and I have not used any of them yet. So why did I buy another one? I don't know because this is, and it's really soft. I really like it. So we'll see. One day I'll have to crack out my Ogos. Okay, so now I'm going to show you um, probably something, I'm, I mean, I'm excited about all of this yarn, you guys, but I'm going to show you the Yarn of the Month Club. It's a Stephen King Yarn of the Month Club from Erica, the Lopsided Crafter. Let me go grab it. All right, you guys, so I'm going to show you the what was in there, and it says April's Inspiration. So you guys can go to Erica, the Lopsided Crafter, go to her YouTube channel. I'll link her down below, and she'll explain to you the uh, Yarn of the Month Club, but she sells them on her Etsy shop. So, And I think you have to order them like at least a couple weeks or a month in advance or whatever. So I ordered this a while ago, and she ships it out when she ships it out. So this is April's Inspiration. And it's from the book Christine. So this is the book cover for Stephen King. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see it. <laughs> I am one of the biggest Stephen King fans you'll probably ever meet in your life. And when I heard about this yarn club, I had to jump on it. I could not not do it. So she sends it wrapped up. So let's see what it looks like. You can order like DK fingering weight. You can order one skein, two skeins. However, I just order one skein of fingering weight, I believe. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. No way. Okay, so let's hold it up next to the book cover. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. You can see the yellow and the red and the blue for the car. Wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, and then she's got her, her little label there. And it says, it's the Alice Bay 7525 uh, Superwash Merino and Nylon. 100 grams, 437 yards, fingering. April Stephen King, wash cold, lay flat to dry. Oh my gosh, that is just so pretty. And I actually brought out, I still, I wanna, I wanna keep them all maybe in one project or two projects. So this is the first one. This is March, and it was based on a book called Pet Cemetery. And um, I did show this in one of my previous videos. But there was March's Stephen King Yarn Club, which was that. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And, um, and this is April's. So <laughs> lopsided crafter, Erica, thank you so much for making up this yarn club. I absolutely love it. I've already ordered May, so I cannot wait for May to show up. So you guys need to go and check her out. It's super soft, it's beautiful, and I don't know, maybe a cowl or a hat with one of these. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I just know I'm gonna hoard them for a while. Okay, so then I ordered, this was a long time ago, you guys. I ordered a mystery yarn bag from Reggie at J-Hook Crochet, and she lives in Germany. So it took a while to get here, but it's taken me even longer to open up the bag. So let me get it. Okay, you guys, so here's the bag. Oh my gosh, Reggie, don't kill me. This is postmarked March, March 26th. <laughs> And it is May 3rd. Oh my gosh. It didn't take that long to get here. It's been sitting here unopened forever. So we are going to open this up and see what Reggie sent me. I don't know if she has any more of these in her shop. 
Um, I do know that you could um, you could let her know if you prefer wool or if you don't prefer wool. Um, I think that there was an option for that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, hold on guys. It's double bagged. <laughs> so I have this bag and then I have another bag. So we have to open up the inner bag now. Hang on a second guys. Okay, I have it open. So if you guys don't know who Reggie is from J Hook Crochet, I really want you to go and check her out. She does a lot of lives and I'm not really on um, a lot of lives. Um, for no particular reason, I just don't have time to jump on them. Um, and she also does something called Yarniversity and she goes yarn shopping in Germany and shows us all of the gorgeous yarns that are over there. So you guys really need to go check her out. Okay, so we're gonna see what she's got here. Oh, there's a card, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Reggie, for the card. You didn't have to do that. So let's see what the card says. I think she's moving. So um, I don't know if she has any more of these um, these mystery boxes, you guys. Go check her out. Oh, what a pretty card. Oh, something just fell out of there. Gorgeous. Oh, her card. Okay. So here is her, her card. And on the back, she has a coupon for 10% off my next order, but I don't know if she wants me to share that. So I'm gonna keep that to myself, <laughs> but I will link her down below in the description box. Okay, so she's got, oh, there's tea. Okay, a bag of fresh glow. That's pretty cool. And then a bag of our winter spiced orange. Oh, that's really cool too. Okay, she says, Dear Rose, yes, I know you ordered the medium size bag, but I may or may not have jumped on the opportunity and sent you all the purple yarn I had. <laughs> Enjoy, Reggie. <laughs> Reggie, you didn't have to do that, but I'm not going to say no. <laughs> okay, so let's, oh my gosh, there's a lot of purple in here. Oh my gosh, hold on, you guys. She sent all purple yarn, oh my gosh. Reggie, I just love you. Okay, so this is called Knitting Essential Sparkle. You guys can't tell, but it's really, really sparkly. Okay, I'm not gonna really read you like all the specs because I don't know how you would get them. I would say if there's something you're interested in that you see here from Reggie, I would send her an email and see if she knows where to get it from. So she sent me five of these. Oh my gosh, and they're so soft. What? Reggie, you did not have to do that. They're 50 gram balls. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Okay, and then she sent me, oh, I know where you can get this. This is Malaga print from the world of yarn and this you can get on hobby's website h-o-b-b-i-i -I. and the color on this one is 06 so oh my gosh i love the malaga yarn there's two of those there's one of this one it's not the print it's just a solid purple and it's color 40 <laughs> and then there's this one which is also a solid color and it's color 39 so this is all from um, Hobby, H-O-B-B-I-I. So you can go and check those out there and they're so soft. And then she sent three of these Stylecraft Special DKs. And I am pretty sure that you can get these on We Crochet or Knit Picks or probably any other, um, any other place you can get British yarn. So I got three of those. <laughs> Reggie, thank you so much for sending me all the purple yarn you had. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I love it so, so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, oh my gosh, you guys. Um, Mama G Gear. I would really appreciate it if you can go and check her out, her and her daughter, Rusty. Um, we're doing these uh, mystery yarn boxes to raise some money for mental health awareness, as well as they support a lot of animal shelters too. Um, so they were selling some of the mis uh, some of their yarn and they were doing mystery boxes. And I bought three of them and she sent them to me in one big box. So let me show you what I got from her. You guys, I forgot there was this in the mystery box from Reggie. Are you guys ready? What? Holy smackerels. You have got to be kidding with the color and the sparkle on this. I must have more of this. 
Oh, it's a Halloween yarn from Hobby. No, it is 90, 98% acrylic, 2% polyester. It's Universe XL Halloween. Oh, they probably don't make this anymore. I gotta go check it out. Oh my gosh, is that pretty? It is color number four. And it is the most gorgeous thing that I have ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh. It's a number three lightweight. That's fine. I'll take them all. <laughs> Reggie, thank you for including that in the box. Oh my gosh, I might have to sleep with that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll put it next to me. <laughs> okay, so this is the box from Mama G Gear, and I really wish you guys would go and check her out. And um, I bought three, and I had no idea. I think when she showed these on her channel, she showed them in like little brown bags. Um, so I am not sure like if they're in brown bags in here or what. So we're gonna open this up and see. Yes, I have purple scissors, you guys. <laughs> Cause everything should be purple, right? Everything. Okay, so let's see what we got. All right, you guys, look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me get them out of the box and I'll show you. Okay, so they are so tightly wrapped, you guys. Oh my gosh. I am gonna very carefully try and open up all of these bags. Cause they are so, oh, something is moving in there. Mama G, what did you do? Okay, so here, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna open these up and see what we got. All right, you guys, I think I cut one of the bags into the yarn, oh my gosh. Okay, so I am gonna start taking these out here and see what we have in the first bag. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so pretty. Are you kidding me? I wanna make sure there's nothing else in the bag. Okay, so it looks like there is this uh, Goucher Yarns Mod. Oh my gosh. And you guys, I don't know if these are available, so I'm not going to go over much of the specs on them. It's a number three weight, 43% polyester, 57% acrylic. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. So there's two of that color. Let me see if it has a color. Uh, no color on there. Yeah, there's no colors on there. There's one of this one. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Are you kidding me right now? You sent all of this in the mystery. You guys, I only paid 30 bucks for each bag. Totally worth it. So there's five of these Goucher Yarns MOD, and it doesn't have any information other than the number of grams and the content and that it's a number three, but nothing on the colors. So there's five of those in there. Plus there's three of these. <laughs> what? This is Ice Yarn Universe. It is 19% wool, something acrylic, 70% polyamide. They're 100 gram balls. And they're so shiny. Shut the front door. Oh my gosh, that was totally worth it, you guys. Uh, I don't know what these run, but I got all of that for 30 bucks in one mystery bag. Okay, so that's one bag. Okay, so the second bag had four of these Hirschner's Fashion Yarn. And I will show you what they look like. So I got four of those. This is a number two. And let me see if I can at least tell you the color is called Horizon Skies. Those are so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, so I got four of those. I got one of these ice cream deluxe cakes from Lion Brand. So pretty, the color is called Royal Palm. And then I also got this little baggie of Goucher Bamboo. Bamboo, oh my goodness. Bamboo 139, look at how pretty those colors are. I don't even know how you got all this in that bag. <laughs> and then this was what was shaking. Let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh, Mama G Gear, you're so sweet. Aw, so there's like a little llama sticker in there and some stitch markers and a button and oh, the stitch marker is a yarn skein. Oh, so cute. Thank you so much for that. That's so sweet of you. Okay, I have one more bag. I have this bag to show you. Oh my God, these are the best mystery bags ever. <laughs> Mama Jiggy, leave a comment. Let us know if you still have any more of these. Okay, so there's two packages 
of this purple sparkly yarn and I told her it didn't have to be all purple so she she did do some good stuff in here not put everything purple so this is premier wool free lace and the color is called uh, lilac dream oh my gosh I don't know if you guys can see it but it's sparkly what it's a number one machine wash oh my gosh so there are six of these and then there's two of these oh my gosh that's dense rebound yarns how cool is that uh these are number four weight 100 gram balls the color on this is called spring i got two of those and then i got a little red heart croquet and the color on this one is called fairy dust and it's really light, light lilacs. This is like a number one. Yeah, it's a number one as well. So I can add that to something else. So Mama G Gear, thank you so much for the amazing yarn mystery bags. That was awesome. And I'm really glad that I was able to help you in your endeavors and leave a comment. Let us know if there's any left over, okay? All right, so the other thing is, uh, you guys all talk about this place called Aberdeen Wool and it is based in Canada. And I think I was watching Darla from the Crafty Yarn Owl. Hi, Darla. And she was saying that it's $5 shipping to the US and Canada. And so I was like, well, I'm gonna go and check out and see what they have on their website. If it's only $5 shipping, that's not bad. So I went on there and they had some stuff on sale, you guys, let me show you. Yes, you guys, <laughs> this is my bag. Oh my gosh. Now I will tell you that I did not buy anything from Aberdeen Wools that was not on sale because I'm cheap like that. <laughs> so um, this whole bag to ship was only $5 to ship. So let me see if there's um, an invoice in there, hang on. All right, you guys, so I just opened it up and I see a little thank you card in here. Uh, we wanted to express our gratitude for your support of a local small Canadian business. We appreciate the trust and the opportunity to make your crafting adventures all you want them to be. With much love and gratitude, Aberdeen's Wool Company. And by you guys, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm not affiliated with any yarn company or accessory company or anyone else. So I buy all this stuff with my own money. Um, I'm pretty sure they don't know who the heck I am anyway. So, <laughs> all right. So I do have an invoice here. And of course it does not have prices. <laughs> so um, I know they were on sale. Like I know they were a good deal. And you guys, I ordered this on April 14th and it's May 3rd. So it's been sitting here for like, it didn't take very long to get here. Um, it's probably been sitting here for over a week. So I don't know what to tell you. I, I can't help myself. Okay. so. Like I said, I only got things that were on sale and I don't know what the sale prices were, but I picked up Premier Sweet Rolls. And I don't know if you can get these on the Premier site, like if this color is still available, but the color that I got is called Spearmint Pop. And it's like a, a, like a minty green, like a creamy white and um, like a light, like a sky blue. Really, really pretty. And I got six because my intention with these is a blanket. I'm not sure what pattern, what style, when, if, <laughs> but that's why I got six of them because I wanna do a blanket. This was the other color that they had on sale. It is called, let's see. This one is called Jello Pop. And uh, it's, I don't know, they're really bright, pretty colors. Um, I think that the, mustardy orangey color is kind of throwing me off a little bit um, but I think it'll still work so I picked up six of these as well for a blanket and who knows when that'll ever be made <laughs> and then they had premier toy box and I think this was like two dollars a ball you guys uh, it's a number five bulky and the color on this one is called hula hoop this kind of reminds me of what is the other number five? Puzzle yarn. It kind of reminds me of that, but it's a little bit um, not as smooth as the puzzle yarn. So I got three of those. And then I also got three of this color, which is called Lincoln Logs. And this is more like a green, red, orange, limey green. I don't know, it's really pretty. I prefer this one right here because of the blues and it's much brighter. Um, but we'll see what we can do with those. 
And then the last thing that I picked up from them was this puzzle yarn. <laughs> I haven't seen this red color before. Have you guys seen this in the stores? I haven't seen it in the stores. And it's like, it is so not, like there's hardly any variation in there. It's so pretty. It's called, let's see what this one is called. It is called Brain Teaser. I like it. It's actually a little bit darker than what's showing up there, but I really like it. 100% acrylic. You can get Premier Puzzle Yarn at Walmart, but I've never seen this color at Walmart. So um, anyway, I got all that shipped for $5 and it was all on sale. I wish I could tell you what the price was, but if you go to Aberdeen Wool, um, I'm not sure if they're still on sale or if they do different sales like every week, uh, but you should definitely go check them out. If you're in the US or Canada, $5 shipping. And that was a really, really big bag too. Okay, so the last thing is Lion Brand had clearance, I swear, a month ago and I ordered and the box has been sitting here. So we're gonna open that up too. Yes, you guys, <laughs> this is the box. This is ridiculous that this box has been sitting here for who knows how long. It's gotta be at least a month. I wonder if they put a date on the box. Let me see, they probably don't. Ship date? Okay, you guys, don't be mad. The ship date on this box was April 6th. So it has been sitting here for almost a month. That is stupid. I think I've told you guys, I should not be allowed to order any yarn ever again. I mean, we all know that's not gonna happen, but I mean, how does a box of yarn sit somewhere for a month and you don't get a chance to open it? Okay, let me open it. You guys, this is ridiculous. And not that I had time to do any projects with this anyway in the past month, but really this whole thing is completely filled with yarn and I did not get a chance to even open it up. Okay, so let me see. There are no prices on the invoices. Why do they do that? We wanna know what we paid because we can't remember. Um, yes, I ordered this on April 4th. They shipped it two days later and a month later, I'm finally getting to open it up. Okay, so um, they, Lion Brand has clearance all the time. I'm pretty sure none of this is on clearance anymore, but you guys, please go and check out the Lion Brand website. I do recommend that you go and for any yarn company that you're interested in, um, sign up for their emails or newsletters and they'll tell you, they'll send you emails when they have clearance sales. So I'm gonna pop this out of the box and we'll see what we got. All right, you guys, <laughs> we're gonna start with Lion Brand Pound of Love. I wish I could remember what these were on sale for, you guys. Um, I think they normally go for like 12 bucks in the stores. I know it was like five, maybe $5 or $6 or $4. I don't know, whatever it was, I couldn't pass it up and I don't even use this yarn. Like I prefer for blankets, I prefer Karen One Pounders, but I figured for the price, I mean, how can you go wrong? For whatever price I paid, I knew that it was it was gonna be good, right? So this is just a navy blue, it was on sale. Okay, the color is actually called navy. I'll tell you about this, cause you guys can still get Pound of Love in the stores and online brands website, but I don't know if this color is getting discontinued. So it's 16 ounces, 454 grams, 1,020 yards, 932 meters. It's a number four, 100% premium acrylic. They recommend a six millimeter crochet hook and five millimeter knitting needles. I have heard that this is a thin four, um, but like I said, I haven't really used it. Machine wash and dry, 100% acrylic. I think I said that. And I am not sure where it is made. And the color on this one is navy. Oh, made in Turkey. Okay, so that's navy. And then I just opened up the box down there, you guys. I'm not throwing yarn on the floor, I promise. Uh, this one is called Creamsicle. That's really pretty. I like that. <laughs> this one is called Sumac. Okay, we have to open this up and see what this is. Oh, it's a gray. It's like a charcoal gray like kind of grayish green that's really pretty and then this one is called taupe okay so this is just a taupe pound of love okay so then the other things that i got were a basic stitch so let me show you the it's anti-pilling basic stitch right there 
And I got three of these and the color on this one is called, and like I said, I don't know if these are discontinued. Um, this particular color, this is called Two Pines right there. So I got three of those. And then I got three of this color, which is called Hot Pink. I think people were getting these in their mystery boxes. So I got three of those. And then, of course, purple. <laughs> this is called, let me see what this color is called, Prism. That's like a, it's a really pretty purple color. I like that one. Okay, and then I don't know why I only got one of each of these, probably because you really don't need more than one. But this is called Go For Faux Sparkle show you guys the label there i don't like i said i'm not sure if these are discontinued if you're going to be able to find them uh this is it's soft it's a number six there's only 56 yards in here um it's it's pretty it's really pretty this one is called jupiter and then i got this one which is called star and then i picked up one of these which is called comet they're really soft. I like them. I don't know, like line a hat with them or something. They're pretty. Okay, then I got <laughs> Heartland Thick and Quick. Let's see if I can show you a label. Oh, I can show you a label here because I have four of each of these. So Heartland Thick and Quick, the color on this one is called Redwood. It kind of reminds me, it's, um, it's a number six, but it doesn't feel like a number six. It feels more like a number five. It kind of reminds me of Hometown, which I also got. Actually, this one is loose. You can see it's not that far off. Let's see here. Um, hometown is a number six, and this one is saying it's a number six, but the Hometown definitely looks bigger, bulkier. So I picked up four of the Heartland Thick and Quick in Redwood. Uh, I don't know what I, my plans were for that. I have absolutely no idea uh, because it was a month ago. And then I picked up four of this color, which is called Joshua Tree. And it's a little bit darker than that. That's so pretty. I don't know, hat and scarf, guys. I think hat and scarf. And then I picked up four of these Hometown USAs. I like to make the um, It's Fall Y'all Cowl from uh, Crochet with Claire, Bob Wilson, one, two, three. I like to use this yarn for that. So this one is also, like I said, a number six and it's called Bar Harbor Blizzard. And I picked up four of those. So uh, next time I think what I'll do is when I order yarn, I'll write down prices in a notebook <laughs> because they, they're not putting prices on any of the invoices. Have you guys noticed that? You guys, I'm wearing, it's so cold here. I'm wearing a t-shirt underneath my, my hoodie <laughs> and it's bulking up there. Um, so maybe that's what I should do next time or screenshot the, the um, invoice. Like when you order, they send you an email. I don't know. It's so disappointing that they don't put the prices on there, but I'm excited because I just got a crap ton of yarn. <laughs> so, all right. So that's it. Now I can put all my yarn away and I'm so excited that the boxes are open and the bags are open. So please go check out uh, all the people I mentioned, the Lopsided Crafter, Reggie at J-Hook Crochet, Mama G Gear. Please go check all these wonderful people out. Everyone will be linked down below. And I'm pretty sure the next video that you see from me will be a wings update video. So if you need any information on that, go check out the wings playlist down below. And um, I hope I didn't enable anyone too much. <laughs> Aberdeen Wool, you guys go check that out for $5 shipping not bad at all. So, all right. So that's it. I'm going to go play with yarn, you guys. I hope you have a great day or great night and we'll talk to you later. Bye.